Emmanuel Macron said the EU must reform or face the prospect of Frexit and claimed the dysfunction of the EU is no more sustainable in an unearthed interview. Famously pro-EU French President Mr Macron has endured a tense relationship with the UK's Prime Ministers since coming to office in May 2017. In September he was caught in a dispute with Boris Johnson after a row broke out between London and Paris over a military pact between the UK, US and Australia. Australia pulled out of an existing $37 billion, £27 billion deal with France and signed up to the AUKUS pact with the US and UK, to provide it with nuclear-powered submarines. As a result the French Defence Minister cancelled talks with her UK counterpart and the French government recalled ambassadors in Washington and Canberra. On September 24, Downing Street said Mr. Johnson and Mr. Macron agreed to continue working closely together around the world, after the pair held talks. Dot, dot. Mr. Macron has also had friction with Mr. Johnson over Brexit in the past, and claimed in December last year that the UK's vote to leave the EU was secured on many lies and false promises. However during Mr. Macron's 2017 presidential campaign he admitted that Europe needed to reform, or Frexit would be a distinct possibility. Mr. Macron told the BBC, I am a pro-European. I defended constantly in this election the European idea, the European policies and so on because I do believe it is extremely important for French people and for the place of our country in globalization. But at the same time we have to face the situation, to listen to our people, and to listen to the fact that they are extremely angry today, impatient and the dysfunction of the EU is no more sustainable. So I do consider that my mandate, the day after, will be at the same time to reform in depth the European Union and the European project, he added, the question is that you have almost half of this country angry with the European idea and with a lack of satisfaction vis-a-vis -vis what we decided 10 years ago and during the recent years. So we have to reform this Europe, we need a new European Union in situation to protect our people and to regulate our globalization. Queen Margaret II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.